In this video, we're going to look at another method for finding equation of parabola when we're given three points using general form. Another way to find the equation of the parabola is using the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This form is useful when we're given three points on the parabola. And what we do is we simply substitute each coordinate into the general form in order to obtain three simultaneous equations, which we can then solve for the values of a, b, and c. For example, we're going to first take the coordinate negative 5, 10, substitute this into the general form so that we get 10 is equal to a times minus 5 squared plus b times minus 5 plus c and this will give us our first equation which is 10 is equal to 25a minus 5b plus c. To get our second equation we use the next point negative 1 2 substitute this in so we get 2 is equal to a times minus 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c and our second equation becomes 2 is equal to a minus b plus c. To get the last equation, we use the point 0, 5, substitute that in as well. So we get 5 is equal to a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c, and this simply becomes 5 is equal to c. So now that we've got three equations, we're going to have to solve this simultaneously. We now have the three simultaneous equations, 25a minus 5b plus c is equal to 10, a minus b plus c which is equal to 2, and c is equal to 5. Start off by naming them equations 1, 2, and 3. We're going to substitute equation 3, c is equal to 5, into equations 1 and 2. This will help us eliminate the variable c, and this will give us 25a minus 5b plus 5 is equal to 10 for equation 1. This simplifies to 25a minus 5b is equal to 5. We then divide the left and the right hand side by 5, which will give us 5a minus b is equal to 1. When we substitute c is equal to 5 into the second equation, we're going to get a minus b plus 5 is equal to 2, and this simplifies to a minus b is equal to negative 3. So we now have two equations in terms of a and b, which we can continue to solve simultaneously. So I'm going to call 5a minus b is equal to 1, equation 4, and a minus b is equal to negative 3, equation 5. Using the elimination method, we're going to do equation 4 take away equation 5. This will be 5a minus b minus a minus b is equal to 1 minus minus 3. And remember to expand the negative sign. This will then give us 5a minus b minus a plus b is equal to 4. And we see that the negative b and the plus b will cancel out. This simplifies to 4a is equal to 4. And when we divide both sides by 4, we're going to get a is equal to 1. Now we've got a is 1, we can substitute back into any equation to get the value of b. So I'm going to sub this back into equation 2 so that we now have 1 minus b, and because c is 5, 1 minus b plus 5 is equal to 2. We're going to get 6 minus b is equal to 2, and solving for b, b is equal to 4. So what we have here is we've got c is equal to 5, b is equal to 4, a is equal to 1, and we substitute all these back into the general form, and so the equation of the parabola is simply y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 5. Thanks for watching everyone. If you would like more similar examples or are interested in other ways of finding equations of parabolas, please take a look at our playlist. We also release videos on other topics as well. So don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now.